Yes, breaking news. Hmm. The northern governor tells federal government to declare bandits as terrorists. Declare Boko Haram as terrorists. Declare Fulani headsmen as terrorists. And declare unknown government and kidnappers as terrorists. That is coming from Abubakar Bagudu, the governor of Kebbi State. And he has expressed concern over the activities of bandits causing havoc across the country. Bagudu on Thursday, September 2nd, asked the president, Muhammad Buhari, led government to declare the bandit as terrorists. According to the governor, whoever carries arms and uh, terrorizes people in an organized manner should be also declared as a terrorist. Uh, well, the Kirby uh, state governor, uh, the federal government led by President Mahmoud Buhari should declare bandits in the country as terrorists. Well, reports as in that Governor Abu Bakr Bagudu of Kirby State made the appeal while responding to a question on if bandits should be declared as terrorists by the Nigerian uh, government. The Governor of Kirby State, Abu Bakr Bagudu, says any organized group who bear arms and terrorize people should be declared as terrorists uh, Bagudu while speaking on channels televisions politics today on Thursday September 2nd also said that anyone holding arms in an organized manner and terrorizing people should be declared as a terrorist group in another report by China TV Bagudu argued that in order to identify uh, the scale of the elder farmer crisis grazing routes need to be mapped out and it shouldn't be forced on people just because you are a Fulani or you are carrying gun, wielding gun up and down. The wrong set of people were the ones that have been proscribed, you know, terrorists, instead of the bandits who carry gun and AK-47 up and down. He also stated uh, this in reaction to the president's uh, directive on ordering a committee to review 368 grazing sites across 25 states. According to the Kirby State Governor, Buhari's order does not rule out the idea of ranching. He also explained that the committee is just to identify grazing routes and not to recover them. Uh, similarly, the National Assembly and National Association of Nigerians uh, has faulted President Muhammad Buhari uh, for being nepotistic in his administration. He has refused to okay, declare you know, the terrorists and the bandits uh, uh, declare them as uh, terrorists. Uh, well, Buhari has really done worse and to AK-47 wielding uh, bandits. Meanwhile, Garba Shehu, presidential aide on media and publicity, declared that enormous successes are being recorded in the federal government dealing with bandits and terrorists. Now, the uh, Kirby state governor has, you know, disputed the fact uh, and the uh, words of uh, Garuba Shehu that he is being, you know, giving us blasphemy by telling the Nigerians that federal government have been dealing with bandits and terrorists. Who are the terrorists? Who are the bandits? He should rather declare them as terrorists in general. Shehu made this disclosure on Saturday morning, August. Uh, that uh, August uh, during August 28, uh, Shehu has said that Buhari government is dealing with bandits and terrorists. And uh, the Kirby State Governor Bagudu says the bandits and terrorists are all the same. Well, justifying current government's efforts in the fight against crime and terrorism, Garba Shehu said President Muhammad Buhari's administration has done to, uh, th done to the arms wielding bandits worse than being declared a terrorist. No, it is not you know, the matter of doing worse things or uh, 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 apprehending anybody. Declare them as terrorists. Then uh, we will now see uh, how uh, the approach will be on the terrorists because you could clamp down the uh, indigenous people of Biafra as fast as possible. You could also clamp down Sunday Igbo, those that were harmless, and you also declare them a uh, terrorist. You said they are inciting war and they are disturbing the peace of the country. So if the English is like telling Nigerians that they are inciting words, a war. What, the, what that simply means is that they are planning to, you know, uh, give war to the Nigerian citizens or they are planning for war. Now, the bandits that are carrying AK-47 are not even planning war. They are not practicing war. They are not rehearsing war. They have brought the war to the doorstep of people. 
So who has to be called terrorist? Is it uh, the self-determinant or the uh, so-called bandit that kidnap, that carry gun up and that kill people? Those carrying guns should be declared terrorists, not people that are inciting war. They are even trying to incite war. They are planning to uh, uh, create war or give war to the people. So Bagudu has said, Buhari, you know, should declare those bandits, Boko Haram, kidnappers, unknown government, killer, Fulani yes, men, should declare them terrorists. Hmm. Well, this is to tell you how discriminating and tribalistic the president is. That's a, a comment coming from, you know, somebody. Uh, they said Buhari knows that the bandits and kidnappers are from Fulani extraction and he can never declare them as terrorist organizations but he did not take the president a twinkle, a twinkle of an eye to declare indigenous people of Biafra IPOP a terrorist organization yes which I said earlier that is the president all Nigerians voted for hmm a president who is prepared to kill all Nigerians for Fulani extraction to inherit our ancestral uh, land hmm. somebody says god forbid though he must have tried but since uh, everybody has woken up in the south uh, southern part of the country <laughs> buhari now deeming fit to even arrest you know those that are leading agitation you know for good governance well why are you afraid to declare them terrorists what have you done to them that makes them kidnapping every day Talk now, evil aids giving evil advice to Buhari. Wow, this person, he has really, you know, eat the nail on the head. Buhari is a bad person, we know. But they are the eights, which I mentioned earlier, the Garuba, Shehu, Malami, Femi Adeshino, they are the evil aids. I can't do this person. So they are the evil aids giving evil advice to Buhari, which is true. You know, evil advice. That's what they've been giving to Buhari. They, have, they kept on lying to Buhari. Now, that day, uh, Garu Bashe was being interviewed on Channel TV, you know, to buttress what uh, Governor Otom has said. Governor Otom did not even mention Garubas, uh, Garubas name or Garu Bashe's name. He only said the presidency. And the presidency, you know, connotes not only one person, both Buhari, Garu Bashe, the Senate president, all of them together. But Garbashe took it personal that uh, Othom is fighting him or his principal. He started, you know, raining, you know, abuses on uh, Governor Othom who was saying the truth. Yes, they have said the truth is very, uh, very bitter. And it has hit uh, Garbashe on the head. Because Governor Othom said he never voted for Garbashe, rather, he voted for. Uh, President Muhammadu Buhari, not Garuba Shehu. So why would Garuba always become spokesperson, you know, to Buhari, either saying the truth or saying lies, all in the name of uh, peanuts or salary that is been given to him, and is an appointed, you know, uh, uh, member, not even elected member. That if he really, you know, wants to test his popularity, he should go and contest so that people so that people will vote for him but him on the other hand governor Trump says he is an elected governor and he has tested his popularity twice in the apc and in the pdp regime uh, well uh, pdp uh, party rather uh, well uh, governor Trump also you know faulted the president being nepotistic, nepotistic and trying to islamize and fulanize the country so Garuba Shehu and his likes have been deceiving Buhari all along just because of peanuts that they want to get.